What is going on everybody? Jamesy here, back for another part of King Come Deliverance, a woman slot DLC. So we're dealing with the aftermath of Skeletus being sacked. There's Teresa, who's just lost her brother, Samuel. Now we're following Tinker, as he's uh, onto something, apparently. Come on, boy. The people, help me, please. Hold the. What happened? Why are you shouting here? You'll bring those heathens. I I have to get out of here and find the others, warn them. Warn them of what? How did you survive the attack? I uh, hid at the top of the hill and stayed there until it got dark and the screaming stopped. The whole of Skelets was in flames. I know. I saw it too. I wanted to go to Talmberg to warn them, but when I was climbing down in the dark, I lost my footing and went rolling down like a sack of charcoal. I, I'm black and blue all over. You're injured. Can I do anything to help? Something's wrong with my leg. I twisted it when I fell. And I managed to limp here to this path, but now I'm all done in. Let me have a look at that leg. Maybe I can manage to set it. <coughs> All right. But please be careful. Hmm. It seems you were lucky. It doesn't look like anything's broken. If there was, the skin would be turning blue by now. Keep that leg raised for a while. And when you go, try not to put too much weight on it. Find a branch or a stick to lean on. This one right next one. Thanks. I reckon I can manage to get up now. But would you help me as far as the road? The going will be easier there. I'll help you. Lean on me. Lean on me. Oh, okay. So, he, she's helped him. To the road nearest the skeletons. How does that make sense? Why would you go near there? Surely you should. Manage it from here. But which way should I go? Go to Tomberg, like the others, and tell them what happened here, and to send help. All right. I won't forget your kindness. But what are you going to do now? I'll go to the castle to see if anyone survived there. If you're not afraid to go there. You could look around the small holdings near Skelets, or the mine works. People took cover wherever they could when the raid started. May God watch over you, Teresa. Alright, let's have a look. So I could just go straight to there if I wanted to, but you know what, I'll... Uh... Go there first, so you do. All right, let's go to B first then. You must be careful because there could still be a few of those humans around. Um, it's not like in the main game when I'm Henry and I'm like level 20 with like good armor and good uh, swordsmanship. <laughs> Wasn't this her mill? Can we go back inside? This is our house. What's left of it? 
I can't believe it. Such devastation. Why? It's the way of war, I suppose. Pa, if you can see me now, I'm sorry. So sorry. Give my love to Ma. I'm not gonna take anything. I don't need. I don't think I need anything. Stebel, you stood up to them. You were always the brave one. I'll come back and bury you in hallowed ground, like you deserve. All right. She's got some balls though still hanging around Scarlet's. I'll give her that. Let's see what you can sniff out here. Seek. That maybe the dog might lead me to something. That's what I was. That's what I was thinking. What do you want me? Who's that? That's a cumin. Oh, you're joking. I was about to press that. Oh. Come on, dog. Do something. is actually here. Oh, wait. Your Miller, what are you doing here? How come you didn't flee like the others? I can't. There's one of those bastards creeping around out there. What? Where did you see him? The army has pulled out. I just killed on. one. He must be a deserter. Yeah, I just killed him. He keeps looking around here for what he can steal. And he looked like he was pretty drunk. You must help me. You've got to get rid of him. I just did. Otherwise, I'll die here. You've nothing to fear. I dealt with that deserter. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd never get away from here alive. Thanks, Teresa. If you hadn't turned up, I'd be done for. For sure. That's all right. Go to Tomberg and tell the people there what's happened. I'll have a look around for other survivors. Help, help, help. 
Alright, so next we'll go to uh, C. Alright, let's get going, guys. Let's get going. Or maybe it'll be easier if I go to it. But look how much of yeah, C's a small, smaller work, uh, search area as well, so we'll go to C. Keep an eye out as well. I don't know if there's any bandits around. Or scavengers, you usually get some sniffing around after a raid. Who's that? They're everywhere. Everywhere. I have to. You know. I have to. What car? Julian? Is it you? Don't be afraid. It's me, Teresa. Are you all right? Everywhere. They're everywhere. Where is it? Where is it? It's gone a bit nuts. Listen, if you stay here, they might come back and kill you. You wouldn't want that, would you? No! Oh. Cut up! Where is it? This is going nowhere. Where's what? I don't understand you. Cut up! Woodcutter! They're everywhere! What are you looking for next? Oh my god! You've got to get out of here, Julian. Pull yourself together. No. They're everywhere. Cutter! What happened here? Did anyone else survive? They came. From everywhere. Everywhere. Where is it? How did you survive? You were left here amongst... amongst all these bodies? Everywhere. Listen to me, and listen well. A short while ago, they killed my little brother. And before that, Pa and Stebor. I'm not going to let anyone else get killed if I can help it. So, for Christ's sake, pull yourself together and get out of here before I slap some sense into you. Oh. I can't. They're everywhere. I can't go without it. You asked for it, Julian. You're one of the woodcutters. Yes. Yes. Cut. Julian, you're not... It must be. This is hopeless. How am I going to get through to you? Where's the dog at? I'll go there. Must be looking for his axe or something. Let's see what seek. Julian's axe. No. No, no. Where is it? Really, you couldn't find that yourself. Julian, hold. Here's your axe. That's what you were looking for, right? Now you'll be safe. Cutter. Yes. My cutter. Good, Julian. And now, get to Tomberg. The others are already on the way there. Run like the devil and don't look back. Tomberg. Yes. Oh, okay. So now we go over to the the, the biggest what? Whatever. Five by the woods. 
Maybe buy that woodland garden. Had someone. Ah. Are you mad shouting like that? Well, I have to find Pavlena. She got lost when we were running in the night. It's still not safe here. Shouting like that is asking for trouble. But I have to find her. I can't leave without her. Will you help me? I suppose so. Where did you see her last? In the woods here. We were hiding from those demons. I didn't think they'd come here, but when it was getting dark, they found us. They came upon us from behind. I think we surprised them as much as they did us. We started to run and... It was horrible. One arrow missed me by a hair. I thought I was done for. I ran and ran and then I found myself alone. I lost those bastards, but have Lena too. I have to find her. She's probably dead. What was Pavlina wearing? The same as always. A blue dress and she had a scarf on her head. Blue dress and scarf. <sighs> you should keep your voice down. There could still be cutthroats within earshot. But, but I've got to find Pavlena. I've got to help her. Right. Start looking for a needle in a haystack. Are you still shouting like a fucking idiot? Maybe. Let's see. He might be able to find her. Come on, Tina. Oh. Yeah. This must be that Pavlina that Marosh was looking for dead. I should go and tell him. Hmm. Un unfortunate. He's not even looking. He's just Pavlina! walking around chatting. About Pavlina. I found her. You did? Where? Why isn't she with you? I'm sorry, but... Best to dead. tell the truth. They must have caught up with her when they were chasing you. Oh, no, no, no. My Pavlena. I should never have left her like that. I thought... I thought she was right behind me. Jesus, what am I going to do? You should flee. And save yourself, at least. I don't know what to do now. Where can I go? Go to Tomberg and tell them everything. Sir Divish will send help and... And then we'll come back and bury our loved ones. I promise. All right. What about you? I'll keep looking around for other survivors. If I had half your courage, Pavlena might still be alive. Oh, God. Take this. Maybe you'll come across someone who needs it. God be with you.
Find it. Oh. Cool, thank you. Right, so we'll go to uh, uh, red A now, not the main A. The side objective. How far is it? It's not that far. So I look for survivors at the part of the small holding. Be careful because you don't know who's a bad, really. There's me traveling the main road. <laughs> That's a if I can get up there. Is it, boy? We're oh, going out of the way now. How's it? doing here I tried to get into my goddamn house what for you ought to flee like everyone else I've got coin hidden there I'm not gonna just walk off and leave it listen maybe you could help me I've heard you mill people know how to how to deal with these kind of things <laughs> Are you imp why can't you unlock the door don't you have the key of course I do that is, I did, but I lost it. I was bringing firewood from the woods. Just as I got to the footbridge, I saw that huge army. I dropped everything and ran home as fast as I could. I must have dropped that blasted key on the way. What are you implying? What are you implying? That I'm a thief? Come now, don't play the innocent. We all know your father is no saint. You must have learned some secrets of the trade from him, no? My father is dead. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, lass. I didn't know. I'm sorry. It's still not safe here. Coin is no use to a dead man. You ought to flee to Tomberg while you can. And leave my life savings to pillagers and footpads? Not a chance. Oh, you know what? All right. I'll try and get that coin for you, but I can't promise anything. Where is it hidden? This damn door is as solid as a rock. All right. Once you get inside, go to the pantry on the left. There's a sack of apples in there, and the purse is hidden right at the bottom of it. Get it, and bring it to me. Meanwhile, I'll keep watch here. If you move... Damn this fucking door! Idiot. Mother of God! Fucking dogs barking. My! There really is a purse full of grosh in here. And a pretty heavy one, too. But I don't have any money on me. We'll see about that. Show me everything you have. Oh, I swear I don't have anything. 
Cut the horseshit. Strip off and shake out those clothes. And if I don't hear the jingle of coin, there'll be hell to pay. For God's sake. Get him. Isn't it enough that we have foreign cutthroats descending on us without being robbed by our own people? Shut. Peace. Ugh. Kurva. <laughs> going on. He wouldn't have thought twice about killing us on account of money. People can be swine. They see a corpse and come swooping down like carrion crows. You shouldn't feel bad about it. He got what he deserved. Take the money. Take it and go to Tomberg. Warn them there and tell them to send help. I'll have a look around the village for survivors. I'll do that. Take care of yourself, Teresa. Let's go to the main village. Can we get him through this way? No. Let's go around this way then. Here's the right way I'm going. There, there. Isn't it? I was gonna say, who's that? She say in the main game that she came to the village just to die. Is that robot? Yeah, because Henry's under attack by those bandits, isn't he? Oh, that was the saddest death in this DLC, guys. Oh, fuck. 
I was wondering where he was in the main game because you didn't see him, so I thought uh, he, he's going to die. Just you're going to have to do a John Wick on them now. Stop going around and murdering everyone. It's always sad when a dog dies in like a game or a film or something. That was like her last bit of family. Well, excluding Peshek. Fucking bollocks. Is that Henry and the other bandits? Yeah, it's gotta be. Enough of you. Go on, Teresa. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> and we know the story from there, guys. That's the. Uh, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You've been through it yourself. I know you understand. There's something else I'd like to ask. Remember how we were sword fighting together? The next morning, Ma scolded me on account of that scratch on my hand. Oh dear, sorry about that. Ah, it's all water under the bridge now. Hey, I never told her it was you who did it. I just wish you could have covered my back too. She was angry that I was at sword training instead of working in the forge. And she said you told her. Your pa and Stebor were really stealing from the royal mines. Jesus. I don't think even Fritz and Matthew would take that kind of chance. And there's not much that pair won't do for an easy groschen. Yeah. In a way, I can understand that Pa did it for us, but it was really irresponsible. You won't tell anyone, will you? Oh, I won't. I promise. So what happened to the silver? Pa handed it over, as always, to that slimy fellow, and he took it away. What happened to it then, I don't know. Your pa really wanted to marry you off to Master Tobias? Yes. Can you believe it? And have you spoken to Master Fayfar since... since the raid? I haven't. Either he's lost interest, or he's forgotten about me. Not that I'm complaining. Uncle Peshek would be happy to marry me off too. Especially if there was something in it for him. I'm glad that's in the past. Well, them two are a good match. I don't blame you. So Johanka and Matthias finally got together. Well, if it hadn't been for everything that happened afterwards, who knows? They could be headed for the altar. But that little intrigue with the dice. I never thought you'd stoop to stealing. It was all in a good cause. Johanka would never have got up the courage to talk to him otherwise. And in the end, her harebrained scheme actually worked. Who knows? Maybe the two of them will get together again. Bianca told me something about your little expedition to the woods. You really ran into a wolf. I thought Bianca must have been imagining things. Not exactly. It was actually a wild dog. But Paul used to say those are even worse than wolves. It's a good thing you were there with Bianca. Going back to help the survivors, that was very brave of you. When I went back to Scalitz, I met no one but footpads and cutthroats. If you hadn't come along, I doubt I'd be here to tell the tale. You know what our parish priest always used to say? Without Christian charity, we'd all soon be dead. I couldn't just leave you all to your fate, could I? Any good Christian would have done the same. No, well, I'm not so sure. Not everyone has your courage. 
Bianca told She was flaunting that ring all day. I was worried for a while that she had some other suitor who gave it to her. No, no. Unless you can count a magpie. Did you go back to Skalitz again? To bury your power and your brothers? Yes. Along with some more of our neighbours. We had an escort from the Ratai garrison. Oh, that's good. With Sir uh, Hanish's kind permission. Where are they buried? Sammy's buried near the mines. He didn't like the mines. But his grave is on the hill, where I used to meet him for lunch. He loved it there. I know it's not consecrated ground. But what could I do? God will understand. I buried Ma and Pa under the linden tree by our house. It's what they would have wanted. Yes. Father and Stebo are buried in the churchyard in Rovna. Once things settle, we'll be able to go back and pay our respects. And get the priest to bless their graves. I think that's it, guys. I have no more questions. Thank you for telling me about everything, Teresa. I know it isn't easy to talk about. It helped to talk to someone who knows what it's like. Thank you. I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. Yeah, so am I. And I'm glad you did, too. By the way, Henry, I have something for you. The soldiers gave it to me when we brought you from Skalitz. I meant to give it to you earlier, but... You know. It belonged to one of the Skalitz garrison. They wanted me to have it for being brave, but... I hope I'll never have use for such a thing. Oh? How come? What is it? It's a shield with the Skalitz crest. I'd like you to have it, to protect you, and... as a keepsake from home. Sure. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Skelet shield. Right, guys. That's the end of the what, a woman's lot DLC. That was um. That was actually really, really interesting. I, I actually really enjoyed that. Um. I do have it. Yeah. Bailiff's mace. No, I like my uh, sword. So, thank you all so much for watching, and um, yeah, uh, this comes to the end. Of the world. I still talk to Kate. Oh, that's the epilogue. Uh, that doesn't count. I still got a um, renew the church and sure and sure. So the. Um, a place to call home or from the ashes with the, the Pippis Lovitz thing but I'll be doing some of that off screen as getting all the supplies and the money for it will take time so thank you all again for watching and uh, please leave a like comment and subscribe I really really do appreciate it guys I need all the support I can get cheers everyone